Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about this uh, little guy that I built here out of a bunch of crashed drones and spare parts lying around. And I'm going to label this video something like Flying Trash. And this is going to be like a series of videos because I've got a lot of uh, spare parts and stuff kind of lying around. But basically I fly a lot of these ready to flies that I review around and pretty much run them into the ground. Crash into trees quite a bit. Um, as you know I fly around parks and I fly around a lot of trees. Um, quite often, and a lot of times uh, the trees end up taking out my micros. Most of the time, I end up breaking the cameras. That's the thing I break the most. I probably break about, I've probably broken about 50 of these so far. But um, sometimes other things break, and then I just set the drone aside and put them in a box, and then that box uh, is basically a bunch of spare parts I can go through and figure out how to sort of repurpose. And this is one of those repurpose projects here. So. Uh, you're not going to be able to find this anywhere, and I'll just just kind of tell you where these parts kind of came from, if I can remember. Um, so this is the KT100 frame. I just have I have a bunch of these frames lying around. This will take two and a half inch props. In this case, these are actually 2.8 inch props. They're they're Rotorex uh, 320s, and I cut them down to 2.8 inches. And you can fit them on here if you don't use the canopy that comes with the KT100. And I recommend don't using that because that one's kind of heavy. But if you just use the base plate, it, it's a pretty nice platform for a Truex um, micro with if you just use the center stack only. So this is the frame I'm using. Uh, I'm using some DYS 1102 70, uh, the 7800 KV motors. I don't remember where these came from. I think they're from a drone that I actually um, was, I think it was defective from the factory and I never reviewed it. So I never made it to the channel. So I just I just stole the motors off of that drone, and I believe it was it had bad ESCs because it the, it wouldn't it wouldn't the motors wouldn't spin up. So those obviously those ESCs aren't on this one. These ESCs came from I, these are this is a four in one six amp BLL ESC from the I believe it's from the Chaser eighty eight. So yeah, parts are kind of from all over the place. And then the flight controller here is the Omnibus F three flight controller with the OSD. And I have I actually don't remember where that, that came from because that was just sitting in the box because I had desoldered everything off of it and I don't remember which drone it was from. But I can link all these parts if you want to buy them brand new. Uh, the, that's not the point of this video, but if you want to, you can. Uh, and then the uh, camera was also from another drone and I just desoldered. This one has uh, the four wires for the OSD, so this is actually wired into the OSD. You can see, I think, right... Right there in the front, that's that's the OST, and then the receivers in the back, and they just have a little FS82 receiver on the side. Um, this 3D printed part, I don't remember where I uh, the link for this. It, I'll, I'll show it to you what it looks like. I if you search like uh, VM275T or CM275D camera mount on Thingiverse. You can probably find it. There's a lot of them out there. I just downloaded a bunch of them. And I did, this is just one I wanted to try because it has a little bit more protection here on the sides and also for the camera. The camera's a little bit less exposed in this one. So fortunately, I don't remember where I uh, with the link for this particular one. I just downloaded a bunch of these and printed them out. I, I just grabbed them out of a box of, oh, I'll just try these mounts out. So, you know, that's how I have it set up. And then I have this whole stack here set up with... Uh, nylon screws that go all the way through and then I have some like TPU soft mounts here and some o-ring soft mounts. There's a bunch of spare parts I have lying around and then then it's going through the whole stack plus the camera mount and then I have some nuts here holding it down. So that's pretty much it and then I got my rubber bands here on the bottom to hold the battery on. Uh, I have some flight footage here I'm flying around on a 2S350. Flies pretty well and it was in some really really windy conditions and these 2.8 inch props fly pretty good into us with these really small motors. I think it's pretty light. I think I'm going to give you a weight measurement. I think it was around 45 grams, I believe. Yeah, 46.3 grams. Yeah, so you know, it's pretty light and it's a pretty good flyer, pretty acrobatic, good flight times on small battery. Um, yeah, this is just, you know, and obviously I, I just grabbed a bunch of stuff like, oh, let's just put this together. Uh, and this is how, kind of what came out, and it turned out pretty good. So I'm going to be doing more of these because I just have a lot of I have a lot of crashed drones now. So uh, it, time to take those parts and put them into something useful and and, uh, and fly them again. So 
get to see more videos like this. Um, let me know if you guys have any ideas on this kind of a series and what you would like to see, because I'm sure you guys have crashed a lot of stuff too, so uh, it would be interesting to see what kind of ideas are out there for um, rebuild projects, I guess. I guess these would be, be rebuild projects, so let me know in the comments below, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.